witnessed a poor presence of key party members, including elected senators. Julius Abure, the Labour Party national chairman, has been entangled with leadership crisis with the latest coming from the Nigerian Labour Congress, NLC, led by Joe Ajero. And we have joining us in the studio to give perspectives to the Labour Party's National Convention, the National Youth Leader of the Party, Aslem Iragbe. Welcome to the IT News Hour, sir. Thank you. you you're not in uh, Newe, you're, you're here in Abuja. Why, why is that so? Well, obviously, I couldn't have been at uh, Newe for any reason uh, mm. because the convention, purported convention, even though it took place, it was an illegal action by all standards. Why do you say that? Well, you see, uh, there are rules. As to Sorry, how he Ideally, the convention marks is the epic of a political party's transition activities. Mm -hmm. Only there should have been a, a certain processes. For instance, the election of uh, the ward, the local government, the state executive, the ultimately the delegates. So it is this combination of people that decide at the national convention to elect the NWC members. So none of this was done because we are the subsisting. Uh, National Working Committee members elected from the 10th June 2019 National Convention. So if you look at the list that uh, Barrister Julius Abore paraded for NWC, you find out that 95% of all elected NWC members from the last National Convention, none of them were, uh, was there, no. Alaji Lamid Bashapa was elected as Deputy National Chairman South, Maria Lebeke, Deputy National Chairman North, by Sir Kimba de Lekon, National Legal Advisor, Iraq Anslem, National Youth Leader, and so many others. So none of these persons were there. There was never a time we sat to agree to take a decision for convention because we had not made the processes. Remember, I, uh, NLC, there was a consent judgment uh, in 2018 that gave birth to terms of settlement. I make midwife that terms of settlement, uh, 26th, 24th of uh, April, 2022. Then eventually on the 27th of June, 2022, uh, the consent terms of settlement were signed upon by the NSC leadership led by Ayuba Waba, the secretary, then the party structure, Abure and Omar Faru. Now the terms were very explicit. One, to the extent of appointing the, the statutory representative of the NSC and the TUC into the Labour Party uh, National Working Committee structure. Mm -hmm. So uh, Madam Ladi Ilia, uh, uh, Loro Femi, Dr. Loro Femi, then um, uh, Alaji Mohamed Umaru for NLC and TUC. Now there are statutory members of the uh, trade unions, that's NLC, TUC for the BOT. SOZ de Jofo as the BOT chairman, as recommended by the, the unions, and for others. Mm. None of this were done. The, the terms of settlement said we should embark on the processes of building up to the uh, convention, national convention, yeah. do the world uh, uh, elections, uh, uh, local government, states, ultimately elect delegates to come. This were not done. Okay, okay, Mr. A. Ragbe, sorry to quote you, but is that also the same reason why INEC was not present? Is it that INEC was not issued a letter? Because somebody like you should know if INEC got a letter or did not. But actually, at the onset, Abure had written to INEC but on a later date, Annette realized, just like the world is beginning to be aware now, that the processes were not met. The, the, trade, the labor uh, movement, the NLC, the TUC, the leadership, had made the INEC to say, look, uh, Abure, the terms of the concert judgment was to the extent of all inclusive uh, participation of the trade unions, the labor centers in the party. So there are specific terms so that we resolve the crisis that bedeviled the party over time. So Abure couldn't have, for instance, His Excellency Peter Obi wasn't there, yeah. the elected governor wasn't there, the senators were not So these are the carcasses of the party, the elected party officials, senators House of Rep State Assembly, Peter Obi himself, governor himself, elected NWC member like us were not there. So Abure, so these are issues. Okay, so what's the way forward? Because I recall that um, the National Working Committee of the party had expelled you sometime last year, uh, but all of you are still saying we need to come together. How will Labour Party get out of this seeming self-inflicted quagmire? Mm -hmm. Well, quickly, um, by way of correction, because you see, a lot of things have been said about some of us. Mm -hmm. Like we said, there are processes. You see, we operate a legal system, mm -hmm. constitutional procedures. The rugby Anslem, if anybody felt the rugby Anslem committed any infraction, there are processes. We set up a committee investigating 
at the level of the NWC, you take that to report to the NEC. The NEC ultimately will go through what their several recommendations were and okay. vote by two third majority of members present. So that wasn't done so at that your wasn't done. removal that like yourself. That wasn't done. So the same high high handedness is what Abore has exhibited all through. Like I told I've just read out names. Before I leave here, I will give you a list of the NWC members elected. You can, I will give the, their phone numbers to so none of these persons. So how could only Abure? For instance, like we said, on the, now we have said, even Abure himself is not a party chairman because the process, uh, the law does not permit the national secretary of the party mm -hmm. to ascend the office of the active or national chairman. So how did Abure in the first instance become a national chairman? He led, that, you, that, he led you into the elections so, of 2023. Yeah, see, these are whole... Hub of uh, anomalies, okay. like like we say, these are constitutional issues. So now Abure, as, who are those? Who are the delegates? How okay. did he come okay. about the delegates Mr. for this? You, you Mr. Mr. Iragbe, no, I, I think we have to let Mr. Iragbe go at this point because we still have a lot to do on the news hour. Mr. Iragbe, Aslam Iragbe, is the national youth leader of the Labour Party. Thank you so much for coming to us today. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, we will take a short break. When we come back, we'll bring you more reports.